Hey guys, it's Jessica. My username is Jessica Expanded, and today is Wednesday, June twelfth. Um, so I am so so excited to do my weekly check in for you tomorrow. So um, I'm going to do my official weigh in. Um, I kind of skipped my um, weekly weigh-in video last week. Um, I did a boyfriend tag video instead, which I shouldn't have done because I really had so much to tell you. I've been doing so well. I've had so many new inspirations. I have just kind of turned a new leaf. Um, I have an injury, but I'm not letting it hold me back. Just so much stuff to tell me, tell you. But, um, I want to do that tomorrow. And today, I wanted to do a grocery haul slash what I've been eating video. Um, I went to Trader Joe's tonight, and I bought a ton of food, and um, I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to go through it really fast, so hopefully it won't be too long. Um, I also, I did a three-day detox um, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And since then, Tuesday, Wednesday, so two days. But still, the past week, I have been eating so good. And the three days, something happened. Like, I don't have cravings anymore. Like, the first two days, I had the worst headaches in the world, and I was hungry. I was pissed off, and I wanted to eat. <laughs> and, um, and then I, um, you know, I just buckled down and did it and I uh, don't have those cravings anymore and I've been sticking to it because it feels really good to eat all these vegetables and um, and yeah I think that with the lap band I was so concerned with getting my protein in. I had no problem getting my protein in. I don't know why I was like compensating or I was over doing it you know I was like protein 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 is great but I have no problem getting it in and we also need our vegetables like and fruit and things that have a lot of fiber in them I was not happy my digestiveness was not happy eating so much protein every day without the fiber and without all the water. I mean, I drink water, but still. And, you know, I was eating about five times a day and um, every meal I would have protein with it. And now I realize if I want a snack, I can snack on vegetables or a piece of fruit. And then my meals, I can focus on more of the protein aspect of it. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So, um, back to my grocery haul. Uh, I'm going to try to do it kind of in sections. I, um, I have produce, uh, pol um, produce, um, protein, uh, and some extras. So produce, I'm so into it. I am so into it. I've always loved, you know, fresh fruits and veggies and um, sometimes it gets away from me eating them. So this is a mango. I bought a mango. I love mangoes. Um, mango, I have avocados, arugula, carrots, celery, kale, Organic blueberries and strawberries and raspberries. Actually, all of this is organic. All of my produce is organic. Um, and spinach. Um, this one's really good because it comes in this package. And it's called Organic Girl. And it's already washed. And, and it's good. So, um, yeah, I've been making, like, snack packs uh, with carrots and... Um, carrots and celery and cucumber. Um, I also bought zucchini. Here we go. So I bought a lot of zucchini. I have been making um, a uh, 
turkey chili, um, turkey black bean chili, which is really good. And I put, I load it with vegetables. I put two of the, I put as many vegetables as I want, but I put zucchini, um, chop it up really small. I put zucchini, I put mushrooms, green bell pepper, um, carrots. Uh, and I just chop them up really small, a lot of them, to bulk it up. And then I put a can of um, black beans and a pound of ground turkey. And it lasts me forever. Like, if you only eat a cup, it will last, it'll make, I don't know, 10 cups. So you can freeze it too. It's really good. I put a ton of, like, um, different spices in there and make it really Oh, I put a uh, jalapeno. Um, you can put onion. I don't really like onion in it, so I don't put it. But And you can just, like, load it up with spices, and it's so, so good. My boyfriend really likes it, too. So, um, And it freezes really well. So that's an idea for you guys. Um, I don't have a specific recipe because it kind of just made it up out of my head, <laughs> um, how you would make a normal chili. Oh, yeah, and you put a can of... Um, of tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, um, and maybe a little beef broth, maybe a little red wine. It's all up to you. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I love using zucchini. I also, you can also make like, um, like a meat sauce, um, with mushrooms and either ground turkey or lean ground beef. Um, and make like a sauce, how you would normally make it. A little olive oil, uh, if you want. Um, and just make it like you would make an Italian sauce. Um, and then you take the zucchini and you take a, a peeler, um, and you just peel all the way and it'll create like long, you have to have a good peeler to do it, but it'll create like noodles. Um, and you can also do it with carrots and, um, you put it in, um, you make the sauce and then you put it kind of on top of the sauce and cover it just for a few minutes. And they are like noodles. Like you can spin them, you can do whatever you want with them. And they're really, really good. It's like so fun to do. Um, that's also a good idea for like kids, I would think, because they don't really know what they're eating. If it's, if they've never seen it prepared like that before, they won't know what it is, you know? So um, that's an option for you guys. Um, what else? Oh, so on this detox that I did, I had, um, it's called a sushi salad. It was so, oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, I had it every, for three days. Um, you take either a whole avocado or half an avocado, whatever you want. I was making it for, um, Dan and I, so I used a whole avocado, two, um, organic cucumbers, um, what else? Two organic cucumbers, sesame seeds, soy sauce, um, and then you take seaweed nori. Um, seaweed, you can get it in any like grocery store in the Asian food section. And then you cut that up and you mix it all together with some soy sauce, um, some, yeah, I guess that's it. Oh my gosh. I guess that's all it is, but it tastes so good. And then I also, oh, and ginger. You put a ton of ginger in there. Ginger. So you cut a piece and you take off, you um, peel it and then cut it up really, really small. Um, and cilantro. That's it. So avocado, cucumber, um, cilantro, ginger, ooh, soy sauce like how you would get sushi and it's so good and you can also I was thinking um depending on where you live and what's available to you uh you could go get some sushi grade um fish and cut it up and then put it on top um if you guys are missing sushi like I am or um you could even like cook fish <laughs> use like real fish cooked um maybe a piece of salmon I don't know how that would kind of be a, a lot of flavors but um I think it would be really good with the raw fish on the top so yummy okay um 
So I bought, so as far as the um, uh, protein goes, I, um, I try to buy organic, grass-fed, free-range, whatever. Always eggs. I always buy organic eggs um, and organic chicken. Those are my two that I, like, always have to buy. Um, but other than that, you know, if I can't find something that's, like, I don't organic, then it's fine. A lot of uh, ground turkey, it's hard to find. So, um, anyway, I bought some smoked salmon just because I was looking on Pinterest the other day and I saw all these, like, smoked salmon. Oh, I love smoked salmon. So I just want to do, like, I could even just do, like, a plate with, like, some asparagus grilled and then, like, just a few pieces of salmon with some capers and lemon. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat it. Super high in protein. So two ounces is um, 70 calories and 13 grams of protein. If you're making a meal, you might eat three or four ounces. So that's a lot of protein um, and super, super yummy. Um, I also got ground turkey to make my turkey chili. Um, I have a can of black beans, um, organic black beans. I bought some um, salmon fillets. This is wild caught um, salmon. And protein is 22 grams of protein, 200 calories. There is a lot, okay, so um, I don't, I actually didn't know this, but Smoked salmon is very low in fat, very low in fat. There's like 1.5 grams of fat. And in real salmon, it's the good kind of fat, definitely, but there is 12 grams of fat in one serving. Um, and it's high in calories. So four ounces of salmon is 200 calories, which is a lot higher than any other fish. Um, but it's so good for you and it's so yummy. And um, you can prepare it a lot of different ways. Um, the other day, I put um, sriracha on the top and lime and, um, and cilantro. So good. I got it from um, Gwyneth Paltrow. It's a Gwyneth Paltrow recipe. And she is hot and skinny, so I'm going to listen to what she has to say. <laughs> so I also bought some lean ground beef. Um... I'm going to try to stay away from red meat as much as possible, but if it's lean and it's once in a while, I think it should be fine. Um, and, you know, I'll make the ground beef maybe with some spices and, uh, and then kind of I can make like a mock hamburger with lettuce or um, I can kind of sprinkle some blue cheese on there, even though I'm not supposed to be eating cheese, but... Um, a little sprinkle of that, that would be really good. Uh, and then also organic chicken breast tenders. And what I wanted to do was um, take some shrimp, cook it up, take some chicken, cook it up, and cut it really, really small, like how you would find in fried rice. I don't know, I just have this idea, this brainstorming idea that I've been thinking about for forever. So this is what I want to do. Chicken, shrimp, cut it up really small. I don't like a lot of it. And, um, and then put peas, carrots, celery, um, edamame, which I have right here. Um, it's soybeans. And they're high in protein. Um, edamame, some onion, some uh, scrambled egg cut up, and make kind of like a mock... Um, mock fried rice with like a little bit of sesame oil and soy sauce and ginger and garlic. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good to me right now. And I've been thinking about it like since last weekend. I, I was like, this is an idea I want to do. So that's my idea for that. Um, I also bought, oh, I also bought some sea scallops. Um, 
and I bought Brussels sprouts. These are pre-shredded. And so I want to do some like pan seared sea scallops with some um, Brussels sprouts and maybe a slice or two of bacon. Maybe, maybe if I'm feeling like I have the extra calories to spend. But um, that would be really high in protein and sticking to the vegetables protein for dinner. Um, no potatoes, no rice, no wraps, no bread, nothing like that. I don't need it. I just need protein and vegetable. <laughs> I can get my carbs from my vegetables and my protein from my plant-based plant -based vegetables as well as, um, I'm sorry, plant-based protein as well as um, lean meat. So that's another idea for my dinner. I bought a frozen scallops because Trader Joe's, you can't really buy it. They don't have any fresh seafood. They only have um, frozen. And the frozen is pretty good. It's fine. Um, but sea scallops, four ounces. So like four sea scallops, about that big, um, are 100 calories and 19 grams of protein. So if you wanted to eat more, you probably could. If you're non-lap band or even if you are a lap band and you're one of those people that can eat a lot, then that would be a good choice because it's really low in calorie. Um, okay, so what I've been eating a lot of, like a ton, every single day, um, not just this past week, but the past few weeks, um, are chia seeds. Okay, so they're this kind of new fad, um, but I knew about them before they were popular. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, they are a seed. They're what you use to make, um, you know, the chia, uh, chia heads, chia pets. Um, they're what you use for that. Um, and you, they're a seed and they're hard. They're tiny, teeny tiny, and they're very hard. And you put them in any type of liquid, yogurt, water, juice, milk, almond milk, whatever you want. Um, and they actually create this casing around the seed, which becomes like a gelatin. And um, what that actually does is it's, it, can, it becomes like 10 times its size. So it's very teeny tiny, so it ends up being still small, but um, it bulks up and it actually will stay in your system because it's very high in pro, um, fiber. It'll stay in your system and keep you hydrated. It will keep you full for a very long time. Um, it also can bind onto toxins in your body and flush them out of your system. Um, they're really, really cool. And they're, they're kind of tasteless. You know, you can put whatever you want with them. Um, you can put them in your smoothies. Um, I make like chia pudding. So I do the chia seeds and then you just put a little almond milk and you can put raw honey or um, peanut butter if you want, organic, peanuts only, peanut butter, um, cinnamon, bananas, kind of making the overnight oats, which I, I do a lot too. Um, just with the chia seeds, leave them overnight. You can They last like a week if you make them in advance. Um, and yeah, they're awesome. Um, I also have been making overnight oats. I use gluten-free oatmeal, which most oatmeal should be gluten-free, but isn't always, so you have to just double check. Um, I do like, I put a lot less oatmeal and then I put some chia seeds in, so a mixture of both, and I put, um, milk or almond milk. I don't drink milk anymore, unfortunately, um, per my doctor's orders. And, um, and yeah, it's really, really good. Um, and you can put any kind of fruit or vegetables. You can go on Pinterest and look up all these different recipes too, um, for overnight oats. Um, some other, uh, protein I got, um, wild, cod and it comes like this and there's like two or three pieces of fish in here and it's frozen um so I usually thought 
out and then I'll cook all of it and then use it over the next few days. Um, but this is 140 calories, 17 grams of protein, and it's already marinated and everything. Um, and everything in it is pretty natural. Um, I don't see any like crazy names on here, <laughs> so that's always a good sign. Um, and I've shown you guys this one before, but it's really it's so good. Okay, so this is... Um, this is Pacific Flounder with Crab Meat Stuffing. And it's about the size of your hand. It's like perfect lap band portion, I think, for me at least. And um, it is 310 calories and 35 protein, and it's so good. And you can, it's just a one, it's like, instead of having a frozen dinner, like you can have this and like steam some broccoli and you're good to go. Like it's so good. You guys don't even understand. Like you have to try it. It's so good. Um, I also got some ahi tuna and I'll probably like pan sear it with some, with some sesame seeds, like how they do in the tropics. Um, and slice it up really thin and that should be good too. And uh, lastly, for this section, I got um, this seafood blend, and it's calamari. I said that weird. I always say calamari. I just said calamari. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, base scallops and shrimp, and that's 80 calories for two-thirds of a cup, um, 16 protein. So yummy you can put this like in um you can put like some tomato sauce or make your tomato sauce and then with like a ton of garlic and then put this in it and you could either do the zucchini noodles or like do a rice noodle or um some whole wheat noodles what you know if you eat that still or want a treat or whatever that would be really good um okay this is getting really long. I'm sorry. Um, I drink one of these every two days. <laughs> so this is a Synergy um, kombucha. Kombucha, it's like hard to explain. It's um, a fermented tea and it tastes kind of like vinegar. Um, but you can buy these and you'll see like the chia seeds in them. And those are 75 calories for half of a bottle um, but they're really high in protein and they're like if you have one of these before you work out it like lasts you so long it's like a good pre-workout where just like as you go throughout the day just taking sips of it like I don't know I really like it but it's it tastes like vinegar so the chia seed ones um, don't taste as bad um, but they are higher calorie too so it's up to you if you like that. I also bought these. I haven't tried them yet. And they're little chia squeezes and they come in different flavors. Um, 70 calories, two protein, um, and everything in this is natural. Um, and uh, four grams of carbs. So No, I'm sorry, four grams of fiber. So that's pretty good. This would also probably be good as a pre-workout um, because if you eat fiber before you work out, your body your body can't digest fiber, but it still tries to digest fiber. So um, as you work out, it's trying to it kind of makes you burn more calories, I guess, or like make you I don't know something happens. Just going with what I'm told. I don't I don't really know what I'm doing and just try really hard <laughs> and. Um, Raw almonds, yum, yummy. Uh, almost done, you guys. Okay, Quest Bars. I could do a whole video on these, but I won't. Uh, they're good, I like them. They're lower calorie um, than most protein bars. They're more natural than most protein bars. They come in a ton of flavors. I really like them, but um, so 
some of them, some of the flavors I really like, some of the flavors I've had to throw out, like, because they're so disgusting. And I don't know, but, you know, a lot of people like the chocolate chip cookie dough one. And I'm like, this is gross. Like, <laughs> this does not taste like cookie dough. And um, the cinnamon roll one, I'm like, ugh, what is that? That's disgusting. Um, and, like, the chocolate ones, the chocolate peanut butter ones, those ones have more of a protein taste. They t You can taste the protein. Um, but, like... The berry one, the banana nut, apple pie, cheese, strawberry cheesecake, those ones. No, I didn't like the strawberry cheese. Actually, I'm sorry, strawberry cheesecake. I don't know if I like that one or not. But um, the other three, those ones I really liked. You couldn't even taste that they were like a protein bar. So, yeah, that's that. I knew this video was going to be so long. Anyway, I will come at you tomorrow with my weekly update, and I'm excited. Maybe I'll wait till Friday, but I'm not sure yet. So, yeah. Okay, bye, you guys.